What is a mandala? What does a mandala represent? Why do monks destroy the colorful mandalas they create with so much effort? Mandala also can mean lots of things, actually. Uh, mandala means like a, a circle. Uh, it's called, uh, you know, this Tibetan word is chil kur. Chil means the center, kur means the periphery. Periphery and the center means everything. Everything is a mandala, you know. Uh, like uh, uh, sometimes we say, this is the mandala of that person. Means like the persons, everything around that person, together with that person. That. So mandala is now there. Uh, we have sometimes the offering of mandala. You know, we make an offering of everything that is great, that is wonderful, that is you know uh, positive. All of them together. That's also say offering of the mandala. So we make an offering of mandala with our mind, you know. Now there is also mandala of a deity, or mandala of a uh, idam, or the practice. That means everything that, that is, you know, uh, that uh, surrounds that, or that is the whole thing. Uh, sometimes mandala of a deity is like you have a, a practice and then there is in that lots of different deities, uh, different Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, uh, all kind of mantras and all kind of retinues and all kind of palaces, and all kind of uh, different things there, and that is also called a mandala. So sometimes people make a replica of that, you know, like in a drawing, in an art art form. Say like uh, people make a sand mandala, for instance. That's what you are referring here. Uh, you make uh, colored sands, and then on a, you know, on a platform, mm, then you draw uh, very colorful, very beautifully, you know, that uh, the design, like a, uh, the map of that, you know, mandala. Palace and deities and all kind of like that. That's that's the you know sand mandala that we are talking about. So you make the sand mandala. It's just the basis of our uh, visualization, you know, a symbolic thing. And on that we make meditation and practice and things like that. And at the end, you know, anything that is there, uh, it's it's not it's not real. It's not. You know, it's real, but it's not uh, solid. It's there's nothing in the whole universe. Uh, anything that is that is created uh, dissolves. You know, that comes together has to go apart. Uh, so therefore, you know, uh, even the most great, wonderful things, you know, never last. Mm. Even the Buddhas, uh, they they go away. They, they pass away and things like that. So therefore, the mandala, you create the mandala and you dissolve the mandala. Uh, it's all mandalas doesn't have to be that sand mandala, you know. It has, it can be very elaborately, like you make a sand mandala. You can make a printed mandala. You can make without anything, just visualize a mandala. Your body can be a mandala. Mm. Uh, your mand mind can be a mandala. You know every. Anything is a mandala, everything is. So, but then, in that way, you know, when you create the sand mandala, for instance, then at the end, you dissolve it too, you know. So, it, uh, everything is, that is created, is dissolved. So, you dissolve that. It's also a, a, a teaching in it, that you make a very beautiful thing, and then you make it, also dissolve it. You, uh, so there's nothing that you need to, uh, you know, be too much attached to anything. You can't be attached to anything because there's nothing you can, you know, grasp and hold on to anything that's 
never, that never, everything, everything changes, everything evolves, everything, you know, um, comes up, generates, then dissolves. Uh, so to 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 learn that, to make that, uh, you know, understanding much more uh, clear and you know. Uh, Obvious we do the dissolution of the mandala also, <laughs> but this is uh, also Vajrayana. Mm -hmm.